So let's talk about it. Let's get into it. They're building, Trump is building government. Ho- Do you know that the Democrats are, are completely calcified? They can't respond to a crisis. Because right now a crisis demands bold, strong, quick, immediate socialism. <laughs> government action. And they're afraid that they'll be called, so if they give people direct payments, they'll be called socialists. And they'll lose the election. I can only think that's what's going through Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer's mind when they act like Richard Nixon. During that's how, that's what they're acting like. They're acting like Richard Nixon or Dick Cheney in the middle of a crisis. Hey, let's make sure we give all the money to the banks. Everybody else, you got to do some dancing. <laughs> You got to have a means test. You got to jump through a hoop. We got to have an audit. You got to go to the IRS. We're going to send you a form to fill out. You got to go to a website. You got to do the banks. You got it. You need two point two trillion. You got it. <laughs> What's the interest on that? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> could you? How could you guys make? Could you guys start a business if you got two point two trillion zero interest? <laughs> so here is what's going on. So. They just said that, that, so they've closed down, no travel. It will hear, um, this is from uh, KRO7 in Washington. That's, they're they're hit very hard. So now a third of all coronavirus cases are in New York. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. So another hard hit is Washington. And uh, they have a level four advisory. So you do not travel abroad. And if you are abroad, return home immediately. That's, That's the level four advisory. And they're also building field hospitals. So just like Dylan Radigan said on the show on Monday, what they needed to do was field hospitals. They're doing it. So they're doing a UBI. Well, they haven't they haven't figured it out yet. Let's get to it. In the last two days, the number of coronavirus cases in the U.S. doubled with more than 11,000 positive cases. That includes 1,346 right here in Washington with 74 deaths. And this afternoon, Governor Jay Inslee issued an order prohibiting non-urgent medical and dental procedures to secure protective equipment for the health care workers. But first, a shoreline soccer field was converted. So I'm guessing... That order about non-emergency dental stuff is so that they can have masks and stuff yes. for the. Into what the city calls a temporary field hospital. Boy, look at all these people are getting ready to report. Right. This coronavirus has got the news people on their tippy toes. And they're all standing. They're all just standing there waiting for them to go to them. And I'm, I'm going to guess like probably this guy and that guy is going to have to wait 20, 25, 30 minutes. <laughs> they're just going to stand there in front of a wall. Watch this guy. He gets he gets a little upset. What? <laughs> Didi. 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 Well, this is going up so quickly. Yesterday, this was just a soccer field. You can see this large structure completely up behind me now. It looks like right now crews are working to install flooring on top of the AstroTurf that's on this field. And then just to the left, you see what looks like a potential entrance. I'm told up to 200 people can be housed here, and people have been coming up to take photos all day. They say this is a sign of our times. And I'm impressed of how much can go up in one day. This tent is the latest site in King County to be used for coronavirus patients if needed. Chopper 7 shows you just yesterday it was still very much a soccer field. Quickly, the construction took shape and the tent went up with beams, walls and HVAC all added today. Water and heating and everything. The city of Shoreline is calling this site a temporary field hospital. King County said today it's still deciding exactly how the facility will be used, but possibly for COVID-19 patients in recovery to help free up much needed hospital beds. It's kind of um, scary knowing that there's going to be or they're expecting that many sick people. That's really kind of sad. The county also says two smaller but similar tents will be going. What is the goddamn point of them getting people who happen to be standing around to talk? What is the point? Oh, yeah, it's really scary. What is the point of that? I guess it gives it flavor or whatever. Up in this parking lot in Bellevue's Eastgate neighborhood. Chopper 7 flew over the crews at work there. 
I'm bothered that we have to do this. I think that, that our, you know, our society has come to have to do this is the surprising part. King County is trying to add as many beds as possible and also purchase this hotel in Issaquah. I'm told these three sites, the hotel, the tents in Eastgate, and this tent in Shoreline will likely all be used for recovering patients. The county also has three other sites designated for COVID-19 isolation and quarantine. Those sites are the modular units in White Center and North Seattle, plus the motel in Kent, which is currently housing three people. As for this so-called field hospital in Shoreline, people say ideally it'll never be needed. My hope is that it's just back up and we won't have to use it. Yeah, that's why they're building it. So I talked with the county again, and even though this sign says it's a field hospital, the county wants to clarify that they have ordered no medical equipment for this. And again, it'll most likely be used for patients in recovery from COVID-19. There is no date yet for when this facility will open. But as you can see, work here is moving along very quickly. So there they go. They're putting up field hospitals. They got quarantine sites already set up. Uh, they're adding a lot of capacity. So that's the latest. That's all the, the, wow. The, that's the latest. So there's your, there's your quick, quick update on what's happening. Uh, how many people dead? In the last two days, the number of coronavirus cases in the U S doubled with more than 11,000 positive cases. That includes 1,346 right here in Washington with 74 deaths. Okay. Doubled. Hey, this is the part where I tell you where our live shows are, but there aren't any. <laughs> and then I would tell you to go join our premium, but, but nobody has a fucking job. So why don't you just enjoy the video?